How you doing, everyone? Today, we're taking a quick look at Twisters, directed by Lee Isaac Chung and starring Daisy Edgar Jones, Glenn Powell, and Anthony Ramos. In this standalone sequel to Twister, Edgar Jones plays Kate Carter, who is a scientist developing some kind of chemical solution that can stop a tornado after it forms. But when she and her college crew take the formula for a test run, it goes horribly wrong, and after that she calls it quits. Years later, she is called back into action by an old friend, Javi, played by Ramos, who is developing some kind of tornado radar. But while they're testing this system that could potentially give them more information about how tornadoes work, they run into Tyler Owens, played by Powell, who is a YouTube sensation known as the Tornado Wrangler. And while Kate and Javi are chasing tornadoes for scientific reasons, Tyler is basically just trying to go viral. And he'll have plenty of opportunities to go viral as a shitload of tornadoes are touching down all over Oklahoma and laying waste to a good chunk of the state. This movie is very loosely connected to the original Twister. In one of the early scenes, we see one of the Dorothy devices from the first movie, but that's pretty much it. This movie mostly stands on its own. None of the original cast members even make an appearance in this movie, or I should say none of the surviving cast members. Some of them are sadly no longer with us. I remember liking Twister way back in the day when I first saw it in theaters. Uh, I only recently rewatched it probably for the first time since I saw it in the theater. As far as 90s disaster movies go, I think it's perfectly cromulent. I don't think it's anything special. Even back then, I didn't think it was anything special. But clearly I was in the minority, as this was the second highest grossing movie of 96. The first being Independence Day. I do have some issues with it, and did back then. Even at the time, I could not give two shits about that love triangle, and this was years before Twilight ruined love triangles for me. Bill Paxton's fiancé in that movie, I don't remember the character's name, I didn't think was a very well-written character. She seemed to be weirded out by literally everything that the Storm Chasers did, including the food that they ate, and it was just, like, normal food. Like, there's a moment where someone puts a scoop of mashed potatoes on her plate, and she looked at it like it was some kind of alien life form. Like, I, I don't know what her deal was. But otherwise, it was fun. Philip Seymour Hoffman, in particular, was delightfully weird. God rest his soul. Some of the special effects in this movie, quite frankly, look like PlayStation 2 graphics. Like, they have not aged well at all. Although, as cheap as it looks by today's standards, the cow flying through the air is still kind of funny. So if you want something to take you back to the glory days of 90s disaster movies, Twisters will definitely scratch that itch. And compared to its predecessor, I would say this is maybe slightly above Cromulent. I do think it's a bit better than the original. And part of what makes it better is the characters, I think, are a bit more layered. At least on the surface, Glenn Powell's character Tyler is very similar to Carrie Elwa's character in the original. He's a rival storm chaser and seems like kind of a douchebag at first, but the douchiness is mainly his YouTube persona, and once you peel back the layers of douche, there is actually a decent human being underneath. Peel back the layers of douche. Those are words I just said. On the flip side, Kate's friend Javi seems like a good dude at first. He's trying to help people whose homes have been wrecked by tornadoes. But it turns out the company he's working for may not be on the up and up. And then we have Kate, who seemed to me to be kind of the opposite of Bill Paxton's character. Bill was trying to leave the Storm Chaser life behind, but as soon as he gets just the slightest taste of it, he is right back in. Like, this is who he is, he cannot help it. And that is not the case with Kate. After a tragic accident during her college experiment, she is more than happy to leave that life behind. She has to be dragged back into that life, and over time, Javi and later Tyler have to remind her why she was chasing storms in the first place. She was trying to come up with a way to stop a tornado after it forms, which could potentially save hundreds of lives. And I'm a little puzzled that people are still trying to figure out how to stop tornadoes when Sharknado already explained all of this. All you have to do is make some bombs out of common household items, toss them in the tornado, and boom, problem solved. But according to this movie, you have to mix a certain combination of chemicals, and once they get sucked up into the tornado, it just dissipates. Now, I confess I do not know nearly enough about the science behind tornadoes to confirm that this is bullshit, but it probably is. But I doubt anyone is going into this movie expecting scientific accuracy. No one went into the first movie expecting scientific accuracy. And that's good, because I didn't get it. And I'm not sure what else I can really say about Twisters. There's nothing that stands out to me as being especially great, but nothing was especially bad either. How's the acting? Pretty good. How's the directing? Pretty good. How are the special effects? Pretty good. Definitely better than the original. 
Overall, I wouldn't call it a great movie. The story was a bit predictable, but it was fine for what it was, and I can honestly say I was never bored. And if you want a fun disaster movie that's a good throwback to the 90s, I'd say this is worth a watch. And that's all I have to say about Twisters. Till next time, take care.